you got to you put your finger over the hole to do that. For us, because for the last several years there's been a constant influx of patients, it's more of a prolonged outbreak, I think, than most hospitals have. A handful of people have died after being infected. It's not clear how many. Others have suffered but lived, not just the combat wounded either, but older patients and infants who've been exposed, frequently the weakest of the weak. A lot of patients are colonized with, with Acinetobacter, but it's the patients that have additional injuries. They're very systemically ill. They have an associated arterial injury, associated abdominal injury. Those are the patients that run into trouble. Usually, but not always, a seemingly healthy nurse spent months near death after being exposed. At one point, doctors at Walter Reed found a relatively safe antibiotic to treat Acinetobacter. But then, doctors in Iraq working for different commanders began using it on all casualties. The bacteria quickly developed resistance. And policies on infection control and antibiotic use haven't changed much, even after four years of battling the bacteria. Over that time, has that created some hard and fast rules that everybody is bound to follow? Um, no, no. But there are guidelines and uh, uh, sort of loose oversight of the practicing patterns of the physicians. But there is no one person that says, Dr. Jones in Baghdad, you must, you must do this. Leading some to ask, isn't it time? That's what really held me back. That's why I was laid up in the hospital for so long. Is the medical community, the military, getting a handle on this in any way? A lot of competent and conscientious infectious disease specialists are working on this, but as I say, they're often doing it within a single hospital, within a single uh, country. Not coordinated? Not uh, to the extent that one would think, given uh, if you were to focus on the patient in this process, because the patient's moving through these countries. From all-time highs of uh, infection or or what they call colonization, just evidence of the bacteria on the skin, it's down now to about 20%, but still up to 20% of uh, wounded soldiers and Marines coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan test positive for Acinetobacter. So four years in, right. uh, some doctors I talk with say more progress should have been made and a more systemic approach to dealing with the problem should have been uh, And still the worst outbreak of this kind, as we said at the outset, in history. Right. All right, Chaz Henry, thanks for sharing your excellent reporting on this. We'll keep tabs on this. I know you will as well. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, thanks again.